For now, Bitcoin is holding our important support level, but majority of new crypto buyers are facing a huge loss. In today's Bitcoin price prediction video, we'll talk about some quite bullish charts and why in the upcoming days, we can be looking forward to one of the best buying opportunities. But first of all, what we are going to see. Bitcoin yesterday got a significant push towards downside, hitting our daily high term time frame area of support almost perfectly at 26,500 US dollars. At this specific level, for the past couple of hours, we are seeing a very small reaction towards the upside of approximately 1.3%. But why is our daily level quite a nice support level and why we are right now seeing this specific bounce towards the upside is also because approximately at our daily, we also do have our monthly pivot point. So definitely very important support level. We took the liquidity below our previous lows. And that is why for the past couple of hours, we are actually seeing this specific reaction towards the upside. But the reality is, what if right now we go on the four hour time frame, applying our exponential moving averages on our chart, you're going to notice something quite bearish, I would actually say, we are not really able to see a cross of our 50 and 200 exponential moving average. Of course, we tried to see a cross when Bitcoin was pushing towards the upside. We almost got the cross right here, but nevertheless, once again, we got another push towards the downside on the Bitcoin price itself. That is why there has been no crosses on our 50 and 200 exponential moving average. Also, zooming in a little bit, this exact exponential moving averages for the past couple of hours are acting as some kind of an area of resistance, and we are still not really able to reclaim them towards the upside. I would say that at the moment they are simply acting as our area of resistance, and of course, because it's the area of resistance, maybe even we can be looking for a short or a sell position. Exactly about the trading ideas slightly later. But let's go right now on the one hour time frame and let's identify what has actually been happening with the price action of Bitcoin for the past couple of hours. Of course, yes, we do know we were able to see a slight bounce from our daily high term time frame area of support, but pay attention to the candlestick patterns. Are at the daily level right here more buyers or more sellers coming into the market? I would definitely say at the moment we are seeing slightly more buyers coming into the market because we are seeing quite a very nice bullish candle right here on the one hour time frame when we first of all got a push towards the upside at the daily level right here. We got another bullish pin bar, another bullish pin bar, another bullish pin bar, and also another bullish pin bar right here. That pretty much means and this tells us that buyers are definitely interested in buying at this specific area. Area, but I would say that there is not really a lot of buyers right here, simply because we are not seeing any follow through towards the upside, breaking our important area of resistance as mentioned before, our 50 and also 200 exponential moving average on the 4 hour time frame. Yes, there are some bullish indications happening. For example, we can go with our 4 hour time frame Ether Stochastic CG Oscillator, we can go with the RSI indicator, we can go with the MACD indicator, where we are going to notice that Ather Stochastic is forming a double bottom pattern, usually a bullish indication for the Bitcoin price itself, and also RSI and MACD are forming hidden bullish divergences. Higher low on the Bitcoin price itself, lower low on the RSI, and also a lower low on the MACD indicator. So yes, I would say we are seeing some bullish indications. However, personally, despite those bullish indications right here, I am not flipping extremely bullish on Bitcoin and immediately expecting much higher price targets in the upcoming days. Now, also, some people are telling to me that yes, we are seeing a brand new higher high on the OBV indicator looking on the daily time frame. Here you are going to notice that a couple of days ago we got a break of our previous high on the OBV indicator, but the Bitcoin price still made another lower high. Now, by the way, this right here is not a bearish divergence, and we got also a higher high looking on different charts. For example, on Coinbase, it really looks like a brand new higher high was actually confirmed. Now, when we see a higher high on the OBV indicator, while Bitcoin is not forming a brand new higher high, this simply means and it can be an early indication that we are going to see eventually a brand new higher high being formed on the Bitcoin price itself. But as mentioned before and also as mentioned yesterday, because as of right now we are not seeing any follow through above our area of resistance, which are of course our exponential moving averages, and also because for the past couple of hours we are still not able to reclaim our value area high, which is going to be approximately at 26,700, 800 
300 US dollars, I would simply say I am not at the moment seeing any major bullish indications for the Bitcoin price itself. Despite hidden bullish divergences on our MACD and also RSI indicator, despite our double bottom on our ethers, and also despite OBV indicator creating a new higher high on the daily time frame right here. That is why I would say we need to be slightly more cautious with our longs and also with our short or sell positions, also knowing that majority of the market, majority of brand new buyers are right now facing quite a significant loss. And let's scroll down right here slightly, where we are going to notice that STH, which corresponds to entities holding coins for 155 days or less, have seen their aggregate cost basis fail as market support. Now let's scroll down slightly right here, and we are going to notice that we can see that the cost basis of STH, who are spending, fell below the cost basis of holders as the market sold off from 29,000 to 26,000 US dollars in mid-August. This suggests a degree of panic and negative sentiment has taken hold in the near term. So we are right now seeing that a lot of different investors, a lot of new investors in the cryptocurrency market at the moment are actually facing a significant loss. Now, personally, I would actually say that this chart right here, this indication, those news right here are actually quite bullish because look at this specific chart. We are seeing a negative sentiment right here and we got definitely then a push towards the upside. Positive sentiment is actually marked in the green area. And at the moment, we are entering the red area on this specific chart, which in my opinion is definitely going to be a bullish Bitcoin indication because new buyers that are right now facing those significant losses most probably are going to look to sell. And again, when the retail traders are selling the Bitcoin price or actually are selling also other altcoins, in my opinion, one of the best buying indications, one of the best areas to be looking to for a buy or a long position on the Bitcoin price itself. If you're right now still looking to accumulate Bitcoin and trade Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, I would highly recommend you for you to secure the 30,000 US dollar free trading bonus with the first link down below in the description. Click the link right here. After you register, deposit, you get the bonus, trade with the bonus and withdraw the profits to your own wallet. Now, let's talk about what is going to be one of the most important areas of resistances we need to pay attention to. Yesterday, I already talked about that our value area high is of course going to be one of the most important levels you need to pay attention to, which is going to come up at approximately 26,800 US dollars. Now, for the past couple of hours, Bitcoin is still not really able to reach our value area high, to reach our 26,800 US dollars, and we are already right now seeing a very small reaction towards them side exactly from our one hourly order block. Now, is our one hourly order block significant area of resistance? In my opinion, not really. That is why personally, I would like to see slightly higher targets before actually going with a high probability short or a sell position. And because of that, what we can actually do right here, identify a brand new SNE channel, connecting our higher lows with a diagonal level, expanding this one towards the upside. And you're going to notice that, yes, the top of our SNE channel is going to be reached at approximately 20 6,850 US dollars. So I would say that the top of our asking channel is aligning very nicely with the value area high as shown before, and also aligning very, very nicely with our previous highs, with our previous lows, area of resistance. So I would say I am only interested going with a short or a sell position if Bitcoin is actually going to hit our important area or actually our important level right here, because if the area is not hit, of course, I am not really interested going with a high probability short or a position. We are all about high probability trades. I am not looking to randomly enter the market. That is why I'm telling to you, we need to see slightly higher before I would actually get interested going with a short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price itself. But also, one very important thing happened already two days ago, and that is going to be a brand new daily high term time frame area of resistance was actually confirmed. So right now we are going to remove our old monthly level right here and apply our brand new daily high term time frame area of resistance at 27,200 US dollars. This level right here is a fresh daily level, which means that if we are going to start pushing even higher towards the upside, above 26,800 US dollars area right here, our next important level for us to pay attention to is actually then going to be the daily at 27,200 US dollars. But in this case, we need to note, Bitcoin is already showing some kind of a sign of strength because we are then going to be able to trade above, once again, value area high above 26,800 
100 US dollars. So most probably right now you're wondering what can be our best longs, what can be our best short or sell positions on the Bitcoin price itself. As mentioned before, I am still interested going with a short or a sell position. Would I short right here? As mentioned before, not really because we are not hitting our value area high just yet. Yes, we can of course already see a massive push towards downside, but nevertheless, I am only looking for the highest probability trades. That is why I would like to get involved in a short or a sell position only if our 26,800 US dollars on Bitcoin is actually going to get hit. Now, in terms of a long or a buy position, yes, we can be already looking for a buy or a long position after the liquidity potentially is going to be taken below our previous low. But the best long position that I do see right now in the market is actually going to be uh, the weekly and the golden Fibonacci ratio at 25,800 US dollars. And also right now, let me do share with you another very bullish chart from CryptoCon. He's saying that Bitcoin is racing down to realize loss on the 50 day moving average of the RPV ratio. And if previous cycles tell us anything, this is the last time it happens until the next cycle top. And let me right now share with you this very interesting chart. Each cycle, Bitcoin makes a peak into profit after completing the bottom pattern circled in blue. And let's look right now at this specific chart. We are seeing usually one and also the second push towards the downside on this specific indicator. Then we are going slightly in green, another push down, which is then going to be less return to loss, and only then another significant rally on Bitcoin actually starts. It happened back in 2015. It also happened back in 2019 and 2020. And also it looks like it is also going to happen in the upcoming months. First push down, second push down, then we went slightly in green, very similar what we also got in 2019 right here. And when we are going to reach again the last return loss right here, usually that means another bull market on Bitcoin can actually start. So what we do know so far, we are seeing this very interesting graph telling to us that most probably, yes, we can go slightly lower, but nevertheless are still good areas to accumulate for long term. We know that majority of Bitcoin investors are as of right now in a loss. That being said, of course, retail is right now facing a significant losses, which means that most probably they are going to be selling. And what happens when everyone is start going to sell? Of course, a brand new bull market on Bitcoin can actually start. If you're looking to buy Bitcoin cryptocurrencies, I would actually highly recommend you to start using the 30,000 US dollar free trading bonus after initial deposit on Bybit right here, or maybe also try one of the best trading bots available with the second link down below in the description right now. Thank you very much. If you actually smashed up the like button, have a great day and peace out.